This is the blue light of suit. This is the repeater with the new 32 foot antenna. It has about a 10 mile HT coverage, 20 or 25 mile mobile coverage. We've got the blue light just to get to where the receiver you now on the repeater. This control unit. We also have the jump on the remote base. So if I take this, this is the BTG of the repeater. Change frequencies for now, I guess. So if I take that, transmit the weight as you see, testing. So that works. If I were to disconnect this remote. Remote base disconnected. And we use the line of offset and a 100 hertz PL access tone. You'll hear the weather radio come on if I do this. Got an antenna right here for now. That is the FIPS codes <laughs> for my area, for the weather receiver, for my counties, and if I were to hit this button, it will play a weather radio. 60% Wednesday night, partly cloudy, lows 54 to 58, northeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Through repeat only. That's why I have that set to no beep. Only a CWID set. Let's see now. Blue S. This is the Blue and SRC testing the WX250 weather receiver. Here's the weather receiver. Back of it. If I hit this button, it will go to severe weather mode and test it, and then it'll cancel severe weather mode. It'll say this is a test. So let's hit the button and test it. Weather alert. A. Skywarn. Net. May. B. Active. Attention. This is a test. Stay 2-8. Go wave height was 0 feet. The report from 
Toledo Lights was not available. This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards, station KEC 63 in Southfield. The station broadcasts from the National Weather Service in White Lake at the frequency of 162.55 MHz. Weather alert cancel. Repeater set for amateur use. Take it. Some new pin out to pull the SFC.